Hi guys, welcome to another episode of That Skin Geek and today we are going to do something really difficult, something something that I haven't done and uh, it's very different from what we usually learn and do. So today I'm going to convert one of my body butters which I made uh, and I'll attach the link of that this body butter video in the description box into a body yogurt. So recently I've been swimming and my skin seems to become much more drier and body butter is too sticky in this weather right now. Delhi is 42 degrees. So I decided to make a nice body yogurt for myself. So in order to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my body butter and I'm going to convert it into a body yogurt. So uh, I am not going to waste a lot of time talking. Uh, let me just walk you through to the ingredients that I have decided to use. So my first ingredient here would be my body butter mix. You can use any oil or butters for this part. So this is 6% of body butter mix. Then here I have some uh, PEG 100 stirate and Gristlil stirate which is also known as Insta Lotion and this was gifted to me by Chemical Cocktails and this one is 4% in the recipe. Then here I have some Sepimex Zen. Sepimex Zen is 2% in the recipe and this is the gelling agent. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make an emulsion out of my butter and I'm going to gel it. So it will have a nice hydrating and uh, like a good nourishing factor. Simultaneously, it won't be very heavy and sticky on my skin. Then for the water phase, I have my uh, lavender hydrosol since this is blue and pink. I am thinking when it will be uh, mixed, it might turn purple. That's why I'm using lavender hydrosol. And then I have some uh, sodium lactate so this is 5% of sodium lactate uh, it is a humectant and it is a really nice one so it will hydrate my skin then some glycerine so I'm using 10% of glycerine for extra nourishment moisturization 4% of niacinamide for repair then I'm using for the cool down phase here is my preservative liquid jomol plus then I have some wheat protein and some vitamin E. So without wasting much time, let's begin with our oil phase. So for my heated oil phase, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beaker and I'm just going to add some of my pre-made body butter to this. So this was cocoa butter, which I had used earlier and it also had some um, beeswax on it so these things will be highly nourishing along with some castor oil and stuff so just to just it this will be just fine or perfect for me now uh, as I have taken a decent amount of my body butter mix this is six percent to this I'm going to add my PEG 100 stirate and glycerol stirate also known as Insta Lotion or uh, in the market you can get it as Lotion Pro. So this is 4% of Insta Lotion gift from Chemical Cocktails. Thank you very much. After that I'm going to add my gelling agent to this concoction. So the reason I'm adding my gelling agent here is because I don't want uh, it to get clumpy. So when we add our gelling agent in our oil phase, uh, it makes it easier to mix with our water phase. So you'll understand what I'm saying in, uh, when we move to the emulsifying stage. So there goes my gelling agent. I think that's all for my heated water phase. Now what I'm gonna do is, by the time, I'm gonna measure all my heated water phase my heated oil phase is going to double boil so i'm just going to put it on the double boiler all you need to do is take a nice pan fill it with an inch or two inches of water and then place the speaker on the stove so i'm going to grab my pan 
So here I have my pan and I'm going to put this in the pan and I'm just going to put it on the stove top. You'll see this was already heating and you'll start noticing that it has started melting. So I'm just going to put it on the stove top and let it melt. So now for my heated water phase, what I'm going to do is I have taken some lavender hydrosol here. So this is 66% of lavender hydrosol. So the 66% lavender hydrosol, I'm going to add some glycerin. This is 10% of vegetable glycerin. There it goes. To this, I'm going to add some sodium lactate. This is 5% of sodium lactate for some extra hydration. And for a nice repair on my skin, I'm going to go with 4% niacinamide give it a nice mix you see niacinamide is not readily mixable in, mixable in water so you need to heat it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weigh the amount here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the weight of this beaker and I'm going to jot it down in this way I will know how much amount of water has been lost during heating uh, during double boiling and I'll be able to top it up so when I say water what I actually mean is lavender hydrosol here so this is how you can generally you know cover your water phase here so yeah now I'm just going to double boil it like I did with my oil phase okay so after double boiling my heat phase and my water phase are ready they and I really like the lavenderish hue that I'm getting in my oil phase and I have topped up the water loss that has been there in my heat uh, water phase and with some lavender hydrosol now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my water phase to my heated oil phase and then I'm going to blend them together so I'm going to use an emulsion blender so here is my emulsion blender which I'm going to use this particular one comes with two modes that's why it's my favorite plus it is a 800 watts of motor and always remember you need to add your heated water phase in your heated oil phase otherwise a lot of product will be left behind and as you can see, I don't know whether it is visible on camera or not, but all the particles of Sepamexem are still left. They are not mixed. So they need to hydrate basically. So to hydrate, they need water. So when I'll add my water in my heated oil phase, they'll hydrate real nice without clumping. So let's get started. There we go. So I'm going to hand mix it a bit before starting with the blender. Yeah. Now since it is gaining some viscosity I'm going to blend so after blending it for about three to five minutes it's time for the cool down phase this is still not hydrated enough it will take approximately two to three hours to come to its exact consistency and let me just check the temperature if it is fine for the cool down phase or not so just going to pop it in and 
wait for the results. So yeah, the temperature is just perfect to move forward with the cool down phase. So for the cool down phase, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take so I'm going to take a bowl and to that I'm going to add my liquid jomol plus then some vitamin E oil and lastly some wheat protein To this, I'm going to add a dollop of my body butter. I'm going to remove the weighing scale. I'm going to use a stirring rod and mix it really nicely. Now, I'm going to transfer all of it to my parent batch. And there you go. I find this is a lot easier than because all the cool down phase ingredients are in such minute quantities that you cannot actually weigh them so I'm going to give it a nice mix so after adding the cool down phase and giving it a nice mix you can have a look at the final texture still it still needs some time to hydrate but here it is perfectly wobblish body yogurt so now it's time to pack so i kind of feel that i'm going to change the color it's not as lavenderish as i thought it would be but yeah it's fine so just use a sturdy hand Ooh, that flow. I think that's about it. I'm going to pat a bit, a bit on hand. And there you go, your very own body butter yogurt a yogurt from body butter so for some demonstration just gonna clean my hand take a dollop on the back of my hand i think and then spread it pretty nicely i kind of like the feel it gives it's very hydrating, nourishing at the same time. So yeah, do try this recipe out. Do let me know how, how did you guys feel. And if you have, in case of any queries, write down them in the comment section below. I do have a website by the name of That Skin Geek where I write a lot about ingredients and stuffs that you can do. So do check that out and you can also subscribe and become a member to get exclusive discounts on my workshops and lastly but not the least thank you so much chemical cocktails for the free ingredients 
and yeah that's all thank you so much have a lovely summer bye bye